causes a population change. Population change depends upon birth rates and death rates and to a lesser extent migration. The birth rate is the number of births per 1,000 people per year. The death rate is the number of deaths per 1,000 people per year. We can calculate population or natural change by using the formula birth rate minus the death rate. Natural increase occurs when the birth rate is higher than the death rate. Natural decrease occurs when the death rate is higher than the birth rate. These changes are shown in the demographic transition model. The model is a graph which shows the relationship between birth and death rates over time. The model shows that over time, many countries pass through a predictable sequence of five stages of changes in population. Along the x-axis is time and the y-axis shows births and deaths. Birth rates, death rates and population change are represented by different coloured lines. Let's look at the population characteristics in each stage of the model. In stage one, early societies had high death rates which fluctuated over the years. Birth rates were similarly high. For these reasons, this stage is known as high fluctuating. The high death rates meant that the population stayed fairly low and steady. This is no surprise since during these times there was no sanitation in the form of toilets and water was not always from a clean source. Medicine was also extremely limited. At the same time, there was no medical way of controlling how many children families had and children were a benefit because they could help farm or hunt. Families would have even more children to replace those who died in infancy. Most nations have passed through this stage already and only a small number of isolated communities, for example in the rainforest, would be described as being in this stage today. Stage 2 begins when the death rate starts to fall dramatically. This begins when common diseases start to be treated and avoided more easily and diet improves, causing the death rate to fall. Basic infrastructure such as clean water starts to be provided too. The birth rate however remains high which means population starts to rise rapidly and this stage is therefore known as the early expanding stage. This is largely due to the fact that many people rely on farming for food and income meaning having lots of children to work on farms is helpful. Locations where this is typically found are the sub-Saharan countries of Africa. Stage 3 is entered when birth rates start to fall. This happens because health education is much better, contraception is more readily available and people start to desire smaller families. Fewer children are needed as there is less reliance on agriculture. There is often a rise in the equality of women too and more opportunities means that many women will have children later in life. During this time, the death rate continues to fall, although at a slower rate. Population continues to rise, also at a slower rate than stage two. This stage is known as the late expanding, and currently most less economically developed nations are in this stage. Stage four is the stage of most economically developed nations. It sees the death rate stabilise due to a high quality standard of living. The birth rate is also low because it is now normal for both men and women to work and pursue opportunities so people have children later in life. The birth rate can fluctuate a little depending on the economic circumstances at the time and population also therefore levels off and fluctuates so this stage is called the low fluctuating stage. Stage 5 is being experienced by a small number of developed countries, including Japan and Germany. They have a relatively old population due to the excellent healthcare and high life expectancy. Death rates may therefore naturally start to rise. Birth rates fall below death rates because it is the norm for both parents in a family to work and families are usually kept small. This enables families to invest in their children 
and provide them with good opportunities. As a result of these changes, stage 5 is described as the stage of natural decrease. For example, there are several countries in the world where death rates are rising despite the model suggesting all but the most developed countries are characterised by falling death rates. One major cause of this is infection with HIV AIDS. Across sub-Saharan Africa, it is the leading cause of death. Rates are as high as 290 deaths per 100,000 people in Mozambique, whereas across Europe, the death rate is less than 1 per 100,000 people. Government policies can also affect birth and death rates. In some countries, policies have attempted to control the rate of population growth by reducing birth rates. An example of this is China, where the one-child policy rewarded parents with only one child. This policy has, however, changed in recent years to encourage parents to have two children. In other countries, higher birth rates have been encouraged. An example of this is in France, where parents are given financial incentives longer maternity and paternity leave from work, and a range of family-friendly policies to manage low population growth. Summary. Population changes are the result of differences between birth and death rates. The demographic transition model predicts population change over time. The factors that influence natural change in each stage include improved medical care and sanitation, the status of women, the role of children, age structure and education. HIV AIDS and government policies are two factors, not in the model, that have affected population change in some countries. Keywords Demographic Relating to population Transition Change Model in geography, something which we expect to happen. Fluctuate, to change frequently. Sanitation, conditions relating to public health, especially the provision of clean drinking water and sewage disposal. And HIV AIDS, a virus that weakens the body's immune system.